Hi everyone, Rob Roy Wiley, financial communicator here. Today we are sitting down and talking with Deborah Switz, mortgage banker of Good Friend Mortgage up in Alpharetta, Georgia. And as all of my subscribers know that here on the Financial Communicator channel, we are always talking to people who can help people with their financial situation. And today we're actually gonna to talk to Deborah about self-employed people and how they go about getting a mortgage home loan and what really obstacles that they may encounter. Well, thank you, Rob Roy. This is an absolutely honor to be here with you today. Well, thank yes. you. She's always bubbly and very, very friendly. Yeah. Hence, friend, good friend mortgage. That's right. <laughs> Hence, good friend mortgage. And not all mortgage bankers are have a bank behind them. As a matter of fact, Good for Mortgage has been in the Alpharetta area for 11 years. And as a mortgage banker, we, tr we seek to help people. We can do traditional loans, but Rob Roy, we seek to help people that probably need a little extra help. So we offer portfolio products. Mm. Products that, like niche products, to help people that don't fit into the box get loans. And that's what we feel we want to provide to the community. Do I want to compete with the big banks? Well, I can compete on every level with the big banks, but really what I want to do is help people that can't get a loan with the big banks. A lot of those people are the self-employed. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about what some of the obstacles that a self-employed person would run across when they're trying to get a home loan, or if they're thinking about purchasing a home, what do they need to be aware of so that they're not caught off guard. Exactly. Well, one of, one of the things that a self-employed candidate for a home loan needs to be very much aware of is their adjusted gross income. Mm. Many self-employed people are so business savvy, they're you know savvy business people, and their adjusted gross income is usually low because they're reinvesting in their into their business and they don't want to pay taxes where they don't need to be paying taxes. Mm. Unfortunately, the adjusted gross income usually is not reflective of the income they are able to earn or of, the, uh, or of their ability to pay for a home loan. So we need to think of creative ways to have these savvy business owners become qualified for a home loan, whether it's a purchase loan or a refinance these savvy business owners do need an opportunity to become qualified for these home loans without looking at the adjusted gross income. Or, if we want to use the adjusted gross income, they also need to know what they need to do to increase that adjusted gross income if they need to, because they might be taking expense deductions that maybe they don't need to be taking. That's a thought. Mm, so. Perfect. So if you want to get in touch with Deborah Switz, at Good Friend Mortgage. Her contact information, her email, is down in the link below. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question or a comment for either Deborah or I, leave it in the comments below. And always remember to remain optimistic. See you soon. I'm Robert Wiley, financial communicator. This video we're filming at the Atlanta Financial Center, in fact, at the City Club of Bucket on the 19th floor. Since we talk about money and wealth, 